Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jesse. Today we're going to be taking this work sharp precision sharpener and sharpening the Benchmade 940. Let's get to it. So the way this thing works is you clamp your knife in there and you can see the little groove here. If I get it on camera, right there's a little groove. It's on both sides. Put your knife as far as you can into that groove and then you tighten it down. And then you, it has a little magnet on it right here. Take it right here is a, either a piece of metal or a magnet and it slides right in. And it holds it pretty steady. And then when you wanna flip the knife, you don't have to pull it back out. There's a little button that you press back here and it'll flip it on around. You can set, we'll pull this out for now so it'll get cut. You can set all your degrees right through here. Right now I have it set on 25. That's where I like my pocket knives. This bench made, I think it came with about a 25 degree angle on it and that's, that's where I've left it. It's good enough for them, it's good enough for me, right? But we're just gonna take this thing and stick it in there, just like that. Now this right here is also on a magnet. There's a magnet up in here, and you take that, you'll hear it click in, just like that. So this uh, sharpening stone, it has three different grits on it. As a 320, a 600, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, and then it has a ceramic. Well, I've got a pretty good edge on this thing. I think we'll just touch it up with a ceramic today. There's no point in trying to go through everything when it just won't, it, it won't shave paper like it should. Tell you what, I got a piece of paper over here. We'll t unchuck this thing out of this. If I can get it to cut. See, it's not, not cutting that great. Just more ripping it than anything. We need to redefine that edge a little bit. We'll just chuck her up in there. And you just, all you have to do is run this through there once you get it tight. I tried to get it as tight as possible because this thing does have a little flex in it, as you can see. So you don't want to push down on it too hard. You just want to do some nice even pressure all the way across it. And what you're going to try to achieve here is you're gonna end up forming a burr on the bottom side where the edge is gonna start rolling over. Then we'll flip her over and do the same thing on the other side and we'll hit it with a leather strop. All you have to do is go back and forth. We we'll even do some circles on it. You can see I'm not pressing too hard at all. This thing ain't flexing like that. All I'm doing is back and forth circles. And you can go like that if you like. You just gotta be careful you don't wanna take your tip off. And we're just trying to rework that edge. My grandpa always said a clean tool is a happy tool. Well, a sharp knife is a happy knife.
Okay, let's uh, go ahead and flip it around. Do the same thing over here. You can hear that burr cutting it off. Oof, went a little crazy there. I want to do that. It don't take much to keep a blade sharp as long as you keep up on it. There's that finish on that edge. Well, ain't that beautiful? Shiny. All right, so let's take this thing out of the clamp. Oop, dropped it. At least I didn't drop the knife, right? I just got this on the vise. What this is, is a uh, welding apron. It's the only leather I got right now. But we'll just run this across there. If there's a burr on there, it'll take it right off. Get her nice and honed in. That's what we want. Hey guys, if you've enjoyed today's video with the Benchmade 940, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more great content like that.